Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to California Chris. Today, uh, as you can see behind me, we changed our showroom around a little bit because we've got launch week this week. Uh, so we've got the California coast over here and then directly behind me we've got the ocean model. So we thought today, as, as they're in the showroom this way round, uh, we'd have a quick look at the two. Uh, we've done comparisons before, but thought it'd be a little bit different this time because they're next to each other. So we'll have a quick look around the coast uh, and have a look at uh, the differences on that, between that and the ocean model. Uh, and then also as well, I'm going to give you the things that I order. So uh, I'll give you a rundown today on what I order for stock. Uh, so when I'm doing my stock orders, uh, which I do, so uh, I've probably got 20, 25 vehicles on order at the moment, what optional extras I've actually added to them and why I've added them to them as well uh, that's there as well because a few people have asked me uh, what do I put on them on top of the standard specification uh, so if we start with the coast first and we'll have a look around that one uh, so we've got the coast here set up with the bed down uh, to show you how it all looks with, uh, with the back section that's raised up as well. Uh, so the first thing you'll see from on here is the comfort mattress. So before we get into the other things, I thought I'd mention that first. Uh, so comfort mattress is something that I order on all of our vehicles uh, that we order for stock. Uh, it's not a huge amount of money, it's a couple hundred pounds for the comfort mattress. Uh, but I think it just makes it so much nicer so you're not straight onto the sleeping onto your top. Uh, you just put them back on here. Uh, and it's just nice and easy. So that's probably my one big recommendation that I would say for anybody who's looking at a California, it would be a coast or an ocean, uh, for the cost of it, because these are quite expensive. If you want to buy them later, definitely worth uh, having a look at it from on there. So anyway, that's the first one out of the way. So let's have a look at some of the differences or some of the things you get with the coast. So uh, obviously interior choices, we've mentioned that before. Uh, so it comes with the light oak uh, interior. Now that interior is exactly the same as what it is in the ocean. Uh, you just basically get a different colour, uh, which is another slightly different material. Flooring wise, etc. is all the same. No real differences around there. Uh, you are getting a slightly different pattern uh, within your, your seat that's here. Uh, the seats themselves are the same, uh, but you will notice the rear of the seats are slightly differently. On the ocean, you have got pockets. Uh, it's in the top section of the seat uh, and the bottom one in here. Both seats swivel around, uh, so there's no differences there with them as well. Uh, but the big difference, and I've said this a few times before now on the ocean, obviously the ocean model and the coast, uh, the coast has no electric roof, it's purely a manual roof. We will be doing some more videos on the manual roof as well on the coast. Uh, it's exactly the same as it is for a beach, so if you wanted to check out uh, the videos we've done before and that you can do, but uh, we will do another video uh, and show you this as well. Uh, so there are a few other things that you don't get, because I've comp compared the coast to the previous ocean model before quite a lot in some of the things, but there are a few little things that you don't get that used to. Uh, so one of them for example is you might notice on this panel here there's no window or normally you'd have a window on both sides you have it on the cooker side and on this side and that's something that's carried over from the beach. It isn't actually there's no option to have this window uh, added to this. I don't know why that reason is. Uh, I think if, if Volkswagen cry out there we're going to add an option to it. Uh, I think that would be a nice option to have on the coast. Uh, it's usually again a couple hundred pounds for a window that's in there but uh, I think people are used to seeing that. Uh, now while we're talking about windows, we'll also talk about double glazing. Uh, so if we take it around to the back, and can show you this a bit more effectively. On the rear of the vehicle, on this particular vehicle, this is just a standard glass. Uh, you notice it's got the heated rear windscreen uh, that's here. Uh, so that's standard on the coast model. Uh, on the ocean model, you actually get double glazing in this window on the back. You're losing the double glazing side of it. Uh, I don't think that person, that's a big thing. Um, it probably makes it a little bit quieter. It's in there, some better for insulation purposes and things like that. But I, in reality, I can't imagine that making a huge amount of difference that's on there. But I said that is one of the differences that you're not getting now on the vehicle. Uh, the lighting system on the coast and the ocean is slightly different as well. Uh, so you might know from previous ones you've looked at as well as you used to have lights in here. Uh, two pod lights which are on the back and there used to be a switch on the inside cover here. Uh, so that's not something you can have on the, uh, on the coast model. You do still get the lights here which is what um, we've all been used to and that, that light's been there for a very long time. Uh, if you look into the back you will notice there is no differences between this and the ocean model from the rear. Uh, the bed works exactly the same way and we're going to do a video shortly as well on, on these systems because these will actually come out completely so you can actually take this out just as you did on the old model uh, if you want to create more rooms and space uh, that's there so we'll do a video on storage solutions at, uh, at some point as well. Now, moving on on the interior on the coast here uh, so there's a few things that this hasn't got so it doesn't have digital cockpit as standard which the other model does. Uh, it is an option you can have it upgraded for there but the cost of it is, is, is quite a lot. Um, this particular one we've got in the showroom has got the upgraded navigation system uh, which again is an option 
you would normally get a slightly smaller screen here on the coast. This particular vehicle model that's in the showroom here has got some extras on it, like for example the navigation system on those where I've mentioned the comfort mattress already. Uh, if it was me, I wouldn't order the navigation system for stock, just that, that brings that price just a little bit closer to the ocean model uh, so because of that I don't, don't order that with it uh, obviously you still get app connector standard with the standard stereo system so you can plug a smartphone in and you can use that for navigation anyway uh, so it gives you a lot of versatility with that as well uh, the navigation system off the top of my head is about 11 1200 pound option uh, on the coast so as you can imagine that's all of a sudden adding a lot more money to the vehicle so one of the other key things I think as well when you're looking at these two models, you can see behind me the roof canvas you have. So the coast has followed the route of what used to be on the old beach. Uh, so you don't have, there's no window in the front, you can't unzip the window at the front. Uh, and you've just got your two fly nets on either side at the back, uh, on the side that's there to give you the light. Uh, so it does give you a different uh, atmosphere that's in the vehicle. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why they've actually got the lighter interior, uh, possibly that's in the Coast model, because it, because with those not having that front window, for example, letting light in, uh, it probably does feel a little bit darker uh, in there because you've only got those two windows that's on there as well. Uh, so as I said, that's the uh, on the Coast model. Moving on from there, uh, I will just point out as well, uh, we've got fog lights on this vehicle. So the Coast comes with no fog lights. It has an option to have fog lights that's there. It's one of the options that I wouldn't normally order, uh, but I always ordered it on the, on the previous, on the beach models, and I ordered it on the Coast. Uh, and the simple reason being for that is because then it looks, for my mind, like a California. It's just a personal thing. If you're ordering, you probably wouldn't want it on. Uh, it's a couple hundred pounds for the front fog lights, uh, but I do think it's a worthwhile option uh, for having on the front of the vehicle. And we'll have a look at the front of this, and we'll have a look at the front of the uh, ocean in a, in a moment so uh, maybe we'll try and get two photos side by side uh, and then you can have a look at the two and I'll give you an idea between them that's there and the last real differences between these two models uh, is what's actually under the bonnet so the coast is only available in one derivative so it's the 150 ps dsg gearbox the automatic gearbox and then obviously you need to move to the ocean if you want to move up from that if you want a 199 uh, so the bigger output engine or you want the four-wheel drive version uh, you've got to go to the ocean uh, model for that so it's just one model for the coast and then we move up to the different models so you've got three models then for the actual ocean model so I've moved around to the front on the ocean model now uh, and we'll put the pictures side by side so you can have a look but essentially this vehicle's got a chrome pack on it um, the chrome pack gives you this strip down here on the bottom that goes around uh, and all the way around the back side of the vehicles as well uh, you get that that's on there um, now not part of the chrome pack but within this as well is that you get all the silver uh, chrome that's on here so as standard you would have this one here and this one and then the optional ones that's on it, because it's an ocean, is one, two, and three uh, that's here as well. Uh, so you get those on all ocean models, and it just distinguishes between the two models. So you know, for example, that that's the coast because it hasn't got all the, the, uh, the chrome that's on it as well. But as I said, if you had a chrome pack added to the coast model, uh, that would add the chrome all the way around here, uh, and also down by the side of the vehicles as well. As you can see, it's got the chrome uh, one thing I will say about the chrome bits that you can add on, most of them you can add on at a later stage. So for example the ones down the side here, you can buy them direct from the parts department and they are just bonded straight onto the vehicle. Uh, I'm not sure about the front ones on the front grille, uh, looking at that at the moment whether they can be added afterwards or not. But different people you see videos do different things to the front grilles and things like that on, on California and on uh, general transporters as well so it would be interesting to see what comes out from those. Uh, but that's the front and then we'll also point you up onto the roof and we'll show you some pictures from on there as well. But as you can see from the roof mechanism here, you've got the whole opening front canvas uh, which you don't have on the coast model behind. As we come on to the side of the vehicle here as well, uh, so we've got the black strip which is on this door here which also goes onto the side door. So if I move that across to here, uh, it's something which is carried over from the Caravelle. Uh, the Caravelle uh, vehicles have this on as well. Uh, it was on the previous models as well uh, and it just allows it then so you've got black from here all the way down to the side where if you've seen the shots, again we'll get a shot side by side on the uh, on the coast there as well so you can see the differences between those uh, that's on there so that's a visual thing that comes on as well. Just a quick thing on wheels the coast has 16 inch wheels as standard uh, 17 inch as standard on the ocean model that's on here the cost to upgrade 
Aloe wheels on the coast uh, is, is a lot. It's a lot of money to upgrade the wheels that's on there. Uh, and again, similar kind of thing really to upgrade on here. Uh, but what I would say is the wheels that are on these, this particular vehicle here, uh, these are the Palmerston Aloe wheels, the 18 inch uh, Aloe wheels from on here. Um, they were approximately about a thousand pound as an upgrade. Uh, I think they look great, really nice wheel that's there. Uh, obviously for that type of money as well, you, there's lots of other wheels that we do that you could look at. Uh, 20s are now kind of the new thing, uh, a lot of people have 20s on. Would I recommend 20 inch alloys on a California? Probably not, uh, probably because the ride um, that would be affected on there. You'd certainly need to have lowering springs fitted uh, if you went up to 20s. But you could have a suspension, air suspension or something like that fitted or some Bilstein's suspension kit fitted which would give you a better ride quality if you wanted to. But I think for California, yeah, probably better sticking something like 18 as a maximum gives you a nice ride if you wanted to lower the vehicle that would give you some bit more stability for example that's there as well uh, and that's something that Volkswagen are working with at the moment because the uh, the lowering kits for example on the T6.1 they're just going through testing and development now uh, where most of the accessories have been crossed between 6 and 6.1 uh, there are a few things which are slightly differently and lowering springs is something they still haven't given approval for yet on 6.1 but they are working towards that so it won't be too long I don't think until they've uh, resolved that and it's uh, uh, available. While we're on this side as well, you'll see this has got the window in. So you've got privacy glass with the window in. Uh, you might notice as well is the difference in the colour of the awnings between the two. So this is actually an option. Uh, awning is standard, it comes included, but it only comes as black as standard. If you want a white one, for example, uh, like this or silver, I think the class it has, uh, it needs to pay it as an upgrade. If you're having a two-tone vehicle, so I ordered this vehicle, so I, I always go two-tone, if, if I'm ordering it myself, I would always put a light a silver white awning on there. Um, the coast that was here was ordered for me by Volkswagen, uh, and that's just got the standard black awning that's on the side. Uh, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, personally, I think it's nicer uh, so that it matches the top half of the top half of the vehicle that's there. Uh, I don't tend to order two tones for stock, uh, just because again of that extra money that's, that's, that's on top of the vehicles as well. So back on the ocean on the dash side of things here, uh, so obviously the ocean has the digital cockpit and this particular one has got the upgraded navigation system. So this has got the pro navigation system in there as well, which has no buttons on, completely touch screen, all the way across the, the dash that's on there as well. There are things we haven't talked about today, so things like, for example, this has LED lights, uh, where the coast uh, doesn't, it just has the uh, H7 bulbs. I uh, don't want to get too technical this on here, but if you follow the channel for a while, uh, you might know that we, people have talked about headlights and things like that on there. So the, uh, the predominantly, previous to that, there was three different types of headlights. So you had H4s, H7s, bulbs and LEDs, stroke uh, Xenon, which uh, were there before that. Um, so the panel vans originally used to have H4 bulbs, they've now got H7, uh, so they're a lot, lot better. Uh, and obviously the, the Coast has got the better headlights anyway, the H7 headlights, but the Ocean has the LED headlights as well. Uh, so there's a few differences between the different models uh, as far as optional extras, what's standard, what's not standard. We just picked on some of the ones which are the visual ones today uh, to have a look at, so the ones that you can actually see uh, rather than the things that are actually underneath the bonnet. So I just want to talk to you just a little bit about what I would order for stock, uh, just to clarify on the things. And I, when I'm ordering stock vehicles now, because a lot is standard on these vehicles, I don't particularly order a huge amount uh, that comes with it. So uh, on the Ocean models, two things that I order are the Comfort Mattress, which I think is a great option. And the other thing I add on, uh, right for the wrongly, uh, is I add the Discover Pro to move up uh, to the full navigation system. £660 I think it is off the top of my head uh, as an option uh, which again it's just it is more money but I think because you've gone for the dash you know it's got the digital cockpit on here as well um, I just think it just really just sets the dash off uh, beautifully having that. Love to hear your comments am I doing the right thing am I not doing the right thing. For me on the ocean those are the two things that I actually pretty much only order for stock so if I'm ordering a stock vehicle obviously I change the colours and things like that um, but then basically just those are the two things that I change unless a customer wants something in particular. Uh, I do occasionally order something a bit better like a four motion uh, and I'll put some maybe some bigger wheels on it for example or do two tones like this for our showroom uh, which we you know we do sell off these off the showroom as well but obviously you can order whatever you like as long as you, uh, you're willing to wait a bit for it to come in. Uh, so let's move back to the coast now and we'll talk about what options we get for that. But there's three things that permanently I order as optional lectures for my stock vehicles for the coast. Uh, the first one of those is comfort mattress which we've already talked about. The second one is privacy glass 
Uh, so we've got the darkened glass that's on the side uh, that's here. Uh, I just think it sets the vehicle off a little bit. Plus we tend to find it's one of the most popular options we used to do on the, on the previous model as well. So we have that on. Final one is the front fog lights that I spoke about before. Uh, so put those on the front of the vehicle as well, just to give it that similar appearance on the front of the vehicle compared to, uh, to the other one as well. Uh, obviously we changed metallic paint is a, is a cost option as well, uh, but obviously we changed the colours on them as well for stock. So we've looked at both the coast and the ocean today, uh, kind of showing the main differences between the two, uh, especially from the outside as well, how they actually look and the different bits that are missing or not missing from the other ones, what you can order, what you can't order. Uh, I've also talked as well today about what I order for my own stock, uh, for the stock dealership stock as well. Uh, I'd be interested to hear there's things that you think are really important that I might have missed out. To be honest with you, what we order for stock is usually determined by what people order. So uh, it's just over time that I know that these what these people want, uh, what you want, so we just order what we need from on there. But it would be interested to hear. So if you've got any comments, pop it in the comments box below. If you've got any questions about the video today, uh, if there's anything we've missed out, we do sometimes miss things out. We think afterwards, oh, we should have included that or not included that. So by all means, put it in the comments box below, uh, and then we can mention it on a future video. So uh, as always, if you've you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.